Rebels will be kicking things off on the CT side. All right then, no more mucking about. Let's see what we get with this one. Slay looks to slay instantly as Shush is down. Casey trades it onto Kicksan and Dexter can't quite find the head with a Glock. Ooh, it's all going wrong for Heroic as they've been hit heavy by Rebels. Four still alive, crossfires being held and it's all down to nerds. And with that Glock and nearly full HP, he can do some damage here. Additionally, has the bomb under control. He's going to get that first freebie, but he's unsure as to where the second player is. Currently sat in main. Now spots him and frags him down, only losing minimal damage. This is a winnable 1v4 now. Ooh, no, it's from behind the pillar. He's got to find the head. There's one quick flick, but it's not going to deliver. Ooh, so close. A horrible round to be left with, but... Did the best he could with it. From a 1v4 all the way down to the 1v1, but a limp. And he makes his way through that one. Yeah, he doesn't take it too badly, but hell, what a round that would have been off the back of the reset. Couldn't do it though. No chance in the clutch in the end. Rebels get one. Take the pistol here in the BO1. Nice try though, isn't it? Looks for the entry. Wide swing. Keeps it going. Follows on from the success he had in the previous round. But for Innocent, it's the double dink up. Oh, Vince, the fact he gets the second one there is rough. It really gives the rest of Rebels a chance now to get back onto this site. I think if he only gets one, they probably pull the plug and save these rifles. But it's still going to be much easier said than done. That's a hell of a way to kick things off though. But Shush up close gets one. It won't be good enough. Not ideal. Late B hit being the split they're developing. Re smoke down inside of Dark. Molly to force back Casey. Revving their engines. Slightly staggered on the face though. This is giving them three one for one trades. Ooh, spray down is good from Kisarax for two. And they dispatch him. Only the one casualty then on Flay. It's another uh, feels good moment for potentially a team that might just need. That air of confidence. Oh. Into this round, though, so far, things go a little bit rough for Rebels. You force the limp to take the fight versus Nerds, and his Deagle hits directly in between his eyes. So shut that man down. Going for the retake, though, on the response, and they find Shush. Three versus two. Scratch that. Flay gets taken out by Tessus's Galil, and it's all on Casey. 30 HP to his name. The peaks from Dexter, and that will hit. It was a little bit of a gap between them. Well, already they've nearly patched it up. And for Rebels, there's gaps in the buy. Ooh, there's holes in Olymp as well as he takes a bullet straight through the gut. Kickslam even finds the follow-up onto Innocent. But man, can he frag out with that sniper? I think, again, as well, you, you've got a bit of a brand. He's someone that you want at those LAN events because that's where he pops off as well. That's where he feels the energy. You know, when he's getting those big shots off, he's slapping everyone's hands, the Dexter slap that he made an entry himself with. And um, he, all in all, I think it's very different, right? Like you say, if you're going through that constant turmoil... Bomb down, shush, looking for the CT walkout. Ooh, takes the peak with a single tap. Fast flick from Dexter. Woo. The second one isn't going to hit the chest, though. And that's problematic. Now it's all down to nerds. So damn good with the rifles, but he's got a peek on it. They bait him out. He's not going to go for the swing. Full stick on the defuse. They'll take the round. One HE and a Molotov in the pockets. Flay, it depends on the timing. Dexter wants to swing on it. Ooh, you bait the crosshair off with a jump as well. So Flay falls for it. Goes down, Olim, the sole defender of camera, only good for one before he's forced off and too low to re-peak. Meanwhile, Dexter is still decimating. Cracks down again with a second orb shot, pre-scopes up as well, even going contact, wants to swing in on Casey. Meanwhile, Shush handles both Kisarek and Olim, and that is another round for Heroic. Instead, he's gonna smoke down and keep himself in position. Flashbang is so good, he's fully blinded. Never stood a chance. Ooh, 
nuts with a tap straight to the face. Goodbye, Vlay. That's a beautiful clack back from Casey, though. Throws the clip in the AK and slays from far away. Kicks sand down on a DECK. It's shush from the rear with the response on Casey, and it's all up to Kisarak. A minute on the clock. Mayhem at middle. Tries to take the peak on the back of the E box, but can't hit the shot. This pistol is of vital importance, and SS playing up close is waiting for that. Oh, the first flick across with Dexter is huge. And although he goes down, the damage is surely already done, or perhaps not. Maybe I've spoke too soon. Innocent dials in two frags, and he could go in for a third alongside Flay. The entire shift. The tectonic plates underneath Heroic have gone against them, and Dexter, who is low, is now finished off. Kicksan in a one on three. Time ticking out, even with the kit. No chance to really make a big maneuver on this one. He's going to throw his hat in, see if he can find anything. Kicks out with the flick up, hits the head of Innocent. Looking to try and take them down with a bomb blast. Good turn and burn as well. Hits the follow up, jumps back on it, but no time for the defuse. Molly to force him off the angle, even lands the tag on the cross. The Deagle Blaze dealing damage. But it's Shush on the flank that finds a limp. Here comes the backup as well. You just got to buy time and stay alive. Tessus doing so much more than that. The Terminator on the back of the site, but in the blink of an eye, it starts to turn back in favor of the Rebels. And the AK spray is what confirms it. Double up from Shush and Nerds trapped on top of one another. But they must have a very good read of the situation because they left A completely clear. And the Rebels didn't make the most of it. Now the full grenades are going to be tossed in as Olin tries to take the initiative, get in first. Flashes proceed to push. And a good pop flash in, but Shush holds down left click and just nails Olimp and Casey. He's finally traded out, but he's done his job. Playing innocent, under remains. It's only innocent in the back of the bomb site now. Tetris will find him. Trade back, round picked up, the retake works out. And Heroic able to make their move to none. Dexter will get the AWP as well. Straight to the face, down to 45 he falls. But Innocent decides that he wants to try and make the most of this. This momentary lack in judgment, perhaps a Nuts gets punished. Two kills go the way of the Rebels. Oh, Kisarag. Hitting the head back on Kicksand, takes him down. Meanwhile, Limp has moved into the bomb site and punched in the digits. And for Heroic, this is one that slipped away from them far too quickly. What's the straw that will break the camel's back, though? Ooh, although this might just be the play that guarantees Rebels another round. Kisarak, huge maneuver. Finds two beautiful frags and then does one better. Hitting the third head, putting them in the dirt and opening up the opportunity to get the bomb down on the site. Post plant now. Kicksand coming back round towards CT, walking up on his lonesome. He's got Shush in the rear now to support. Bone dry. They've got a smoke. That could be the one saving grace for the CT side, but it's if they don't get shot in the back of the head as Kisarak goes on for another one. Four frags in the round and might have just guaranteed it. Four Rebels, they blow open the smoke. Olimp will find him, and that's how they make it to 10. And they're dialed in for it. This is a change of pace, though. Dexter about to be tested. He's good with the first. Looks to reposition, isolates the angles. The third is one too many, as Casey will survive the test, but Shush still finds the trade, and they bite the bullet. Heroic, not wanting to concede another round, look to take 10. It's a brutal sight to behold if you are Kisarek, because he's going to be feeling it right now. He's going to be feeling so good after that last round, feeling like he can do anything. So future endeavors into round 21. 30 seconds left on the clock, and Casey's the next to fall. They're going to be spilling out of B main, but it is so telegraphed at this stage that Dexter and Nurt should have this one dead to rights, and now the backup has arrived. 
Tess and Shush both coming in, and there is a flanking contingent from the brains of Kixan. He is looking to close down these T's. He may wait for time first. Oh, it's so huge, so intelligent. He can completely wreck the economy here. Once that hits zero, bodies will hit the deck, but Flay spins around and denies him. But they know exactly where he is, baiting out the shot. Down he goes. Beautiful from Kixan. Adding insult to injury by winning themselves that round. 11 to 10. Now with broken money, just tech nines, they've got to hope that they can find an upset in the round. They run on out. Casey with the tech on deck hits the head of Tessus. Nerds, dragged out by the Mat 10. Dexter replies back on the orb, and it's into the free versus free. Nades over the top of the site as well, blocking off the angles with the smokes. That's the connection onto Innocent with a nade. The bomb is planted, time ticking. Tech nines force the swing, and within an instant, this defense is gone. That will be heroic off the back of a string around, making it to match point first. Trying to make a mark through mid. They heard the footsteps of Kisarak, but he just couldn't find the opportunity to frag and kick Sam. Oh, he kicks it heavy. Swings out at mid, slices through him like a butcher knife and chops down Rebels. Those three frags have basically guaranteed the map. It's all on a limb. Puts Nerts into a dirt nap, but on the back of the bomb site, Shush is waiting for him. And with 25 seconds left, Heroic Edge closer to that 13th round. And there it is. 13 to 10. The BO1 is theirs.